Hello generals and welcome in part 3 of the Soviet Union series and today we are going to launch the invasion of Czechoslovakia, the former ally of Poland, our last victim. So Czechoslovakia has uh, expanded so fast in the central of Europe and he was, as I said, the former ally of Poland so now we are expecting a counter reaction from him at any time but I want to be the first one to attack him to avoid any chance for him to surprise me while I was offline, while I am, I don't know, I'm not playing the game so the better thing to do is make sure to delete him uh, alongside his former ally and of course now we start the invasion of Czechoslovakia and let's go directly to his homeland cities heavily with stacks of 10 uh, level 3 motorized infantries and of course with the air support the air support is going to have the strike fighters I have two stacks of level 4 strike fighters I aim to uh, level up so very quickly my air force because it's going to help me so much in such invasions and it's going to give me aerial superiority on my enemies so this is how the invasion is going to start I'm going to launch a large scale attack from all sides. I'm going to enter here to prevent him from advancing from East Berlin because he is in the center of my lands. Also, I'm going with three heavy stacks to his main three cities. Of course, I'm going to target his cities with the uh, level two uh, air bases because they are producing the helicopters we saw in the last part in part two that Czechoslovakia have uh, helicopter gunships and also attack helicopters so we want really to catch him while his helicopters they are still uh, down maybe they are for the refueling maybe they are uh, putting them in the air uh, airfield so they can generate uh, their hit points of course heal uh, the process of healing so in that case these are going to be an easy target for me of course that's the perfect time to launch the assault with the strikers so here I started producing my level 1 destroyers as I said earlier in the part 2 that Italy has expanded so much and he have the naval bases level 2 so I am obliged in this case to make um, destroyers because if my enemies have frigates my strikers they will have no utility in such wars so I need to have the perfect army and the perfect composition to be able to have the superiority and to be able to conquer all of the European soil so in Prague as I said as I was speaking in a few seconds we are catching up his helicopters on land this is the perfect time to hit him he also have attack destroyers he is not bad Czechoslovakia to be honest in day 13 he have attack helicopters gunships uh, infantries and also attack uh, anti-tanks anti-tanks so you see here my I am assaulting his capital Prague his air base there is destroyed so his air force is trapped on land it's going to be an easy target for me, I'm going to take it down very quickly. My stacks of uh, strikers, I'm going to send them city by city to be able to patrol them and give me a vision what is available there. At the same time, if there is anything available there, they will automatically engage it. field hospital very important for the airfield I'm using for my strikers because of course whenever I am going to assault the Czechoslovakian armies I'm going to receive a minority of damage so to be able to heal that damage is to keep my air force on that airfield the airfield that is equipped with level 3 um, local hospital so I'm still here engaging that stack of anti-tank Advancing to the city of Brno, Ostrava also, Prague has fallen now and the capital of Czechoslovakia is mine. Let's now advance to the next city, the city of Pilsen and of course the center of Germany, east and west of Berlin. Bratislava has fallen as well. Now let's go to the cities of uh, Hungary and its capital Budapest. All of these lands are under the reign of Czechoslovakia. So now we are under the process of liberating all of the, the Czechoslovakian colonies here and gather them under the Communist Party under the reign of the Soviet Union. So this is how you have a very quick invasion. 
A quick invasion is a composition of heavy land armies and also an air support. If you are attacking a coastal nation, the navy assault, the assault of navy is going to be also useful and very very efficient. But in this case, while we are attacking a landlocked nation, so the good thing here is to attack with heavy stacks of 10 because the the big the bigger is the damage the minus damage you will receive of course. Uh, so in this case we are helping our land troops because I mean, don't have a variety of land troops I only have level 3 infantry so in this case I'm not like I am so powerful on land you understand but I made myself powerful on land because of my level 4 strikers because you know level 4 strikers they are very very strong and also fast this is the good thing this is better thing than helicopters helicopters they don't have a wide attack range their attack range is very small also, they are very, very heavy. This is why the strikers, they are more useful than helicopters. And also, they have a good damage, of course. So now from the city of Pilsen, I'm going to Erfurt. Liberec has fallen. Dresden also has fallen. I know the football team, Slovan Liberec. Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, has fallen. Soon the capital of uh, Hungary is going to fall also, which is Budapest. I received some damage on my, of course, on my strikers. You see how much damage I received because I was taking down the air superiority fighters of uh, Czechoslovakia. He had, of course, two or three air superiority fighters. That's why I received a lot of damage. Well, the air superiority fights, they were only level one. That's why they wasn't really, really lethal. But, of course, they posed some problems for my strikers because, after all, they have, they have a lot of damage against uh, fixed-wing aircrafts. So yeah, we, when we are going to play with Strikers, we have to avoid SAMs and ASF. We have to avoid SAMs and ASF because these two, they are going to be deadly for us. This is the weakness point of Strikers. Three weakness points to be honest, it's Air Superiority Fighters, SAM Launchers and Frigates. So when you find these three, uh, substance TV units in the enemy's army just don't use your strikers use anything else don't use your strikers or you are going to lose them I have a video where I made uh, like 150 strikers a combination of strikers and stealth strikers as well you can see the video on my youtube channel uh, that Air Force was deadly to be honest. Yeah, it was deadly. It was so much that the game has bugged for me It was so so heavy. I couldn't even play just imagine 150 uh, Strikers like max level strikers. I did it with uh, Russia that day. It was yeah, it was a very very deadly Air Force So now our strikers they are cleaning everything from their way city by city I cleared all the units and the armies of uh, Czechoslovakia. Now I am in face of the process of cleaning the provinces one by one. So this is the third invasion in this uh, game. The first invasion was Belarus, the second one was Poland, and the third one was Czechoslovakia. And until this moment, until the second, our invasion is 100% successful because we didn't lose uh, a lot of units we didn't lose at all we received the damage but we didn't lose armies so this is very good when you invade the country and you don't lose armies you don't lose uh, your units this is very good because we will not need a lot of time to rebuild and to prepare for the next invasion we only need to re-prepare and restructure our infantry in the uh, exact position and invade so this is the map in front of you now, Czechoslovakia is mine, this is it, let's have a look, this is Algeria, we make a small um, update, what is going to happen in the game, this is our Soviet beautiful union, this is Finland, yeah, we have uh, level 2 naval bases, I'm going for the level 4 infantry and we are at the end of our episode, see you guys in the next episode, bye bye.